Today's going to be a beautiful day. It's Wednesday. Good morning. I'm in my garage having my coffee and my smoke. I just wanted to do a little bit of a show without all the pictures and all that. Today, I got a doctor's appointment at 10.30 and... Uh, I just, some days, I just feel like just talking to you folks, and why not? My cigar. I love my cigars. Haven't given them up yet. My wife quit smoking for over ooh, three years now. But I like my cigars, so that's why I still smoke. Yesterday, I was a little bit distraught because I look at all the social media and all the Facebook crap and all that and I just get so annoyed sometimes. It's like I want to get rid of it and I still don't. I don't know why. I'm still on there. Um, I guess it's for the mere reason of uh, meeting the people I've met since I've been online, since I've been actually communicating with people. I was on Facebook for a lot of many years without communicating with anybody, right? Just not even bothering. But, you know, the people I've met and the brethren I've met, it's been so wonderful that that avenue of Facebook, even as corrupt as it is, I was still able to meet some beautiful brethren and be able to communicate and fellowship with. So it does have its benefits in that sense, yes. But I still want to freaking boot it out. You know, one of these days I will delete Facebook. I will get rid of all the social media crap on my phone. And I might even get rid of my phone. I even said that on Facebook yesterday. I said, well, geez, you can't even walk down the street anymore and visit somebody. It's all texting. It's all like this phony baloney uh, pseudo meeting people online. Well, I want to get rid of it. Yes, I do. And I will. Lord willing, I will. But meeting you people was the best part of it. You know, back in the day, we sent letters. We went down and visited our neighbors. You know, that day, them days are over. Like, totally over. You know, you, you can't go uh, to a party. You cannot go to a person's house. You cannot visit with a person without somebody on a cell phone or on Facebook or on social media. And that's pretty scary when you think about it because that distraction that's there is distracting them from the true and good stuff. The good, it's distracting from the good and focusing on the wicked of the world, the evil, the... You know, that, that's what I see. You know, it, it's horrible. It's a big corporation, like any other corporation in this earth. I don't pretend to be like, uh, like I'm not like anybody else. I do use my phone. I do go on Facebook and things like that. But when I get in a situation where I can visit one-on-one, -on -one, when I can actually sit down, have a meal with, uh, with some people and, you know, fellowship that way, talk to them, have conversation. I stay away from my phone because I don't need it. Why do I need it? I have the actual physical person sitting in front of me. I don't have some pseudo phony baloney whatever chit chat back and forth. It's, it's an actual person sitting there to be able to talk to. Some days it's just like, wow, I just like to toss my phone in the freaking ocean and be done with it. And then if people want to see me, they can actually physically come see me instead of communicating that way. But we live in a world that it's necessary to have this communication, apparently. Because without it, how do we keep in communication, right? How do we actually communicate with people today, right? Without what we have. So we live in a era of wickedness and running to and fro, as Daniel put it. Running to and fo fro, um, not getting what they want, but they're just zip, 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 zip. The world is going fast, faster and faster and faster. 
It's like, slow it down a little bit. Just pull the reins, right? Nobody does that. Some days I just lay on the couch and sit in quiet and listen to the clock tick. Just listen, it's, it's peaceful to me. Just in complete silence, when my son goes to school, my wife goes to work, I just sit there and lay there and just, just bask in the silence. And it's so awesome. Or I pick up a book. My God, I have a huge library and I pick up a book a lot. I read a lot. Why not? Right? This is the, this is the piece that you get. Right? Study. Read. You know, gain knowledge that way rather than knowledge from media. So that's my little rant for a Wednesday. Hope you folks have a wonderful day. I got to go to the doctors and I'm going to have some fellowship with a brother over in Holland when I come back from the doctors online, but it's going to be on Skype. And this is why I started that Skype fellowship in the first place. Why? Because Skype is not bad. No one's interfering on Skype. Um, it's a communication, it's a video chat, yes. It has to do with phones, it has to do with uh, communicating, but it's actually a really good way to communicate. And yeah, so that's going to be awesome to have some fellowship with my brother over in Holland, in Holland today and uh, enjoy some sunshine in the backyard. Today it's supposed to be 8 degrees Celsius, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. But that's warm here. It's like balmy, balmy, balmy compared to what we had this winter. It's really nice. All right, I'll shut up now. Um, just wanted to have a rant and have a chat. And... But my advice is to get away from it all. My advice is to get out of this wicked crap of media. And if you can do it, do it. You know, I'm here for a little while longer, but that's about it. When God actually says no more, done, I'm going to delete, 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 and it'll be over. Okay, with that, folks, I'm going to light my cigar and say have a happy day, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and we will see you tomorrow.